Harley Days here and it's Saturday morning scares time if you're new to the channel hi hello I'm Miss Harley Days and every Saturday we get together on the channel and we react to scary videos together <laughs> so this week I decided to finally react to a series that I've been pushing off time and time again <laughs> um so Walton Files it's a series I have been wanting to react to for a while now, but I always have been kind of scared watching it. I always watched other people react to it. Um, it kind of has like a FNAF vibe to it, and growing up, FNAF always scared me. <laughs> always scared me growing up. Even to this day, FNAF is still terrifying to me. Um, so we now have Walton Files, which is kind of that same vibe. And we're gonna go ahead and check it out. <laughs> I already hate myself for doing this. <laughs> That was funny. Robo Vegas is the message from Jack Wall. In BSI technology. Our beloved sound. Which means in BSI the most important thing to us isn't the money or the rating. The most important thing to us is that you have a wonderful experience while working with us. That being said, with the Bond Burgers restaurant getting opened in a few weeks, we're looking forward to achieving this dream of you. Brand new day in Little Bond's neighborhood and a really special one for Saul. Little Bond has been waiting all day for his friends to arrive. He is planning to have him sleep over with him. He has everything set up for the perfect movie night with his friends. For this sleepover, he invited Star, Boozy, and Billy. Let's check again in case we don't forget any guests. 
He sleeps with his eyes open. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm gonna be honest though, the blue bunny dog, whatever, is actually gonna have a doorbell on a plushie. Hello? 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 Every time I see these like traveling videos, I always like wait for like something on the side of the road to just like pop up out of nowhere or like a deer run across the street or something. I don't know. Darth Vader recording? I don't like 
like that. Okay, now we're playing Slender Man. <laughs> Two glowing dots. My reaction exactly. <laughs> what even is this? Okay, what's the point of this right here? <laughs> Her. Hello, my name is Brian Stells, and I work as facility caretaker. Deceased. Oh, that'd be interesting. Okay. Is this just how it's going to end? You seem like you love your company a lot. And this is how you know I'm scared because I'm already like chatting a lot and trying to make jokes. Okay, that was Walton Files 1, now we're on Walton Files 2. We got ourselves a little handyman. Bunny Smiles Inc. So it's a bunny, not a dog. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was a bunny or if it was a dog. Part of me thought it was a bunny. But then I was also like, well, you know, I've seen some interesting bunny drawings that or dog drawings that look like bunnies because the long ears. Bunny Smiles Incorporated. Yeah, I need captions. I'm deaf, honey. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present to you the relocate project. But before we go into details, we want to greet all the new Bunny Smiles employees. Let's start analyzing the relocate project by checking what has happened ever since the closure of Bond four years ago. As many of you might have known from previous tapes, our beloved entertainers were safely secured in St. Juana Storage facility some months after the restaurant's closure. Later on, a good amount of business opportunities appeared, such as books, merch, animated movies, we even got a TV show. That's when Felix Kraken had the brilliant idea of Restore and reprogrammed the robots of Bond's burgers with the purpose of relocating them in a new restaurant that would be opened in a not so distant future. A pretty smart plan, right? Making enough money to eventually reopen the Bond's burgers restaurant is no doubt a brilliant idea. So let's give it up for Felix Kraken, a man with not only a giant brain, but also a giant heart. Yeah. Tip number two created. Reprogramming phase. Mm. So there's two bunnies, not one. Mouth. Drop a carrot in there, see how it works. Blink. Now see if they can blink one eye at a time. Wink. Well, hello to you too. <laughs> I'm 
surprise. Did I surprise us chit chatting? <gasps> Where'd the music go? What happened to the music? Please don't stop the music, music. Is that like one of the kids or something? Yes, I hear you. The bunny rabbit needs to get out. The rabbit is starving, is that what they're saying? Okay. Oh, I'm scared to feel the bunnies. Don't don't show us something scary and sad with bunnies. They're cute and fluffy and lovable. You just want to hold them and love on them all day. One of my friends actually has a pet rabbit and it's the cutest little thing. Okay, I can tell that's supposed to be something freaky, but I cannot even understand. Tape three. I don't know why I'm getting disco vibes off of this. So we're following like someone named Brian. I bet you must be very excited and nervous to start working here. But let's stop and think. Do you have all the necessary items for your job pack? I thought so. Let's put on a nice backpack and start packing some items. Let's check the items you will require for your job at K9. Lantern. Check. Snack. Check. Key. Check. Camera. Check. Wow, it's pretty dark here. You should turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turn on the... It's important to keep track of which rooms you enter. This place can be really tricky and you could get lost very easily. This is the resting room. In this room, you can sit down, rest, talk with co-workers. You name it. Remember to always keep this room as clean and organized as possible. A clean environment helps to get past the fashion. A dirty environment only makes your job harder to get done. Some appeared right there. All right, this is the main hall of the place. In front of you, you will find three doors. These are storage areas. The first door uses to save any kind of clean items and supplies. 
The second door is used to stay by private prices and merch that was available in the Bonnie Burgers restaurant. The third door is used to hide. Why are you sad, little lamb? He's right there again, I think. Welcome to the basement. Right now, you are in the main storage area. As you can see, this is the room where we storage more important items such as stages, tables, arcade machines, and birthday props. Now, please follow me to the next door. So they killed someone and put her inside the lamb. So all these animatronics are people. And a bot and they're okay. Got it. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting Blair Witch Project vibe, but okay. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of sirens outside. <laughs> I wonder if y'all can hear them. 
Oh, it's close. It's really close. Yeah, we hope we can go back to better equipment and better deadlines. So much for not going near it. I jumped. I like jerked back. So she passed. She was murdered. Did they stuff her into one of the animatronics? It's the one that she said she wouldn't go near. That's supposed to be her, right? Okay. Eh, I don't like that. <laughs> There's more. Oh, that was the end of it. Okay, this one is called Lucky You. It's an unlisted video. It's a link you have to find. 
I searched it out for you guys. <laughs> And if I missed anything that goes in between, I'm sorry. Opening day. 1974. What, what a time to be alive. <laughs> that smile. Thank you for the smiles. Halloween of 74. My screen went dark. Oh, it's because of the battery. How much battery power is left? 19% we got 26 minutes for me. We only have five more minutes of this video to go. 6-11. We don't have that much time left of the series or of the videos, so we can do this. Blech. You're probably nervous of what you saw. Don't be scared, my little bunny. This, this is scary. Okay, I'm deaf and you didn't include captions? <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't handle this animatronic stuff. Sophie won't. Oh, can't you see? I made them beautiful. I don't know how. I don't even mean to. But I did. They try to talk to us through analog. They will be heard. This is their cry for help. Besides, they want us to know what happened that year. But we must be patient. Look. They are filled with they dance to the music. They laugh and sing along. They're perfect. They are beautiful. They're beautiful. <laughs> they will see you soon, Sophie. So, Sophie Walton. Because there's the other dude who's owns all this. Okay, this is our last video called Commercial. Funny Smiles Games presents a revolutionary game in the arcade industry, perfect for every kid and adult alike. Today, Funny Smiles Games takes another step into the future with Funny Farm. That's right. Play your favorite characters in a fun and exciting adventure. Solve puzzles, enjoy parties, and most importantly, have fun. Funny Farm is the most futuristic arcade game. State-of-the-art technology and features such as advanced graphics, file saving system, voice acting, and much, much more. Funny Farm is the ideal game for everyone, and soon a Funny Farm machine could be your nearest arcade. Funny Farm, coming soon at local arcades in Brighton. Come and play with us. It'll be lots of fun, 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 lots of fun. Now who's that? 
Is that Sophie? Molten Files 3. Bunny Farm. Thank you so much for supporting the Walton Files. You know, just for that, I'm gonna hit like. This was scary, but I still liked it. <laughs> Teaser, commercial narrator. Okay. <laughs> So that does it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. I personally enjoyed this as well. Um, like I said in the opening though, FNAF type stuff scares me really bad. Uh, ever since I was a little girl, I've always had like a fear even of the Chuck E. Cheese <laughs> animatronics. Um, so yeah, this was definitely like very scary for me. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did hit that like button, if you're not subscribed, please do. And I will be sure to link their channel down below. It's just simply called The Walton Files. Um, you can go check it out for yourself. Give them some likes and views because without the original creator, we wouldn't be able to film our reaction video without them. So go show them some uh, likes and subscribes and views. So my thoughts on this so far... So we saw Sophie Walton. Is that like the daughter or sister of the guy? The Walton guy who owns Bonds Burgers or whatever? Like is she, re obviously she's related to him, but how is she related to him is what I want to know. And how, and it looks like it's all going to start following her? I'm assuming that picture at the end was her, so that's why I'm like, are we going to start following her story now? Are we going to see what she is? Is she one of the animatronics? If so, which one? You know, so... Yeah, I really enjoyed this. And I will see you all in the next video. And if you know of any scary videos out there... I always forget to do this at the end of my videos. If you know of any scary videos out there, go ahead and comment them down below. And if I choose to react to them, I give you a shout out. And I will be sure to give you the shout out if you comment the video. Make sure to maybe even leave a link because sometimes I have a hard time finding the channels. Um, but yeah, I would be more than happy to check out some channels that you guys know of that you'd like to see me react to uh, for Saturday Morning Scares. But that does it for this video and I'll see you all next time. Bye!